Hello everyone, welcome back to Chuck Thunder, and we're here for another episode of our Let's Play series of No Man's Land on FS22. And we're going to give you a quick tour of what we've done so far. I parked all these materials here. I've gone and picked up all the attachments for my little gator here so I can spray herbicide or fertilizer. Uh, just in case I need another tractor uh, attachment, I have a three point here. I've got the fertilizer and lime spreader, which I just used. A lime spreader part after uh, cultivating this field because it had potatoes on it then I seeded it with oil seed radish and limed it with lime with the gator and I did the same thing for a field that I made back here I used the cultivator to create a new field a rather sizable field back here right here and did exactly the same thing limed it and Fertilize or an oil seed radish, to, uh, and that should be up and running uh, in a day. And once that happens, then I will cultivate the oil seed radish in with the cultivator, and it'll have one fertilizer state ready to go for us, as well as also being fully limed. So that's where we're at right now. We haven't done anything else since then. Um, like I said, well, all we have is our house to sleep in. Should we need to sleep in it? And we have our little barn here that houses our cultivator and all of our tools so I don't really have any other plans to do with these two machines at the moment so it might be time to think about picking up some other equipment oh I have a bag over here that I left of seed um, well I'll pick it up with the tractor real quick so I really don't have any other plans to do with this equipment at the moment my goal is to, well, it sounds like it's a really loud tractor right now. Hopefully my first episode didn't have this loud of a tractor. Let's see. Let's see if that's any better. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, no other major plans left to do here. Um, excuse me, kitty. Get away. Not your food. Sorry, I just fed my cats, and they are fighting over whose food is whose. And I have cats that specifically prefer other food, and I have cats that are less picky and will just eat anything in sight. Who needs a big bag baler or big bag holder when you have fork lift like this? So I'll go ahead and bring this back over here for now. I don't really need this to be anywhere specific. Just drop it in here. Cool. All right, so we don't have anything major that we're really planning on doing, but we will need to start thinking about what we're going to do for harvesting. Um, what do we want to harvest? What will we harvest? Um, or what will we plant? What is going to be harvested? Because right now we're looking at seasons mode, right? So in seasons right now, the only thing that we could really plant is canola. Um, and I may not have a chance to plant it if I am going to be, um, well, I probably will have a chance to plant it, um, but I'm going to be doing my, um, oilseed radish going into the next month and I'll have to cultivate that in and then I plant the canola and the canola won't be ready until next season. I could wait until the next month, September also as well to plant barley or wheat. Um, I don't really have much of a preference. I have done barley before. I have not done wheat yet this season. So I may do that. Um, we'll see. Because I can't really plant anything else other than poplar and oilseed radish next month. Anyways, I know poplar, I can't even do grass or oilseed radish. So we're not going to plant anything really other than one of these three. So whatever we end up doing, we will need a wheat harvester, which will probably, or some sort of harvester for grain, so we'll probably lease that next season when we come to harvest. But for right now, we could do everything we need to do to plant all this um, this month or next month. And we won't even need a trailer at the moment either to pick up anything unless we choose to do some other work. So we might pick up a logging trailer because that's something we could do throughout the winter months uh, in the meantime, while we wait for the season to come rolling around. Which means, the first thing that we're going to have sellable 
in this world will be logs. And we have lots of trees that we can be cutting down. And I kind of like the trees that are behind me right now. I kind of like how that is. It's just all of those back there. Segmenting my two fields, I'm not a huge fan of. Besides, if I tear them down, I could probably put another field there. <clears throat> which I think would be great. Um, we may even want to get into the business of doing a greenhouse. Because that is a really cheap way to get some cash flow going. Um, get a few hundred dollars, nothing too crazy, just a few um, pallets of strawberries just kind of flowing all the time, giving us a few hundred dollars. So that is an option, and we can load up our trailer with the strawberries and tow them over to a place to sell them. So that's a possibility too, but we have no place to really sell a lot of produce or do any production, so that might be something we're going to do this time around for this episode, is that we may look into what we can do with production and get ourselves some logging equipment. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some logging equipment first. And by logging equipment, I don't mean anything all that crazy. You know, we just kind of want a trailer that can either double as logging and also, uh, yeah, logging or and or, you know, grain, which I don't think any of these can do that. Yeah, these are all like weird bear tra bale trailers where they have that piece in the back it would be less of a concern for me if there was a backing that um, wasn't there so that's a possibility I'm just not a huge fan of it um, and I don't know if do any of these other trailers do that does this trailer do that no this one's okay but this was a dolly trailer um, but yeah that would work for logging because you could just lay little logs on top and then strap them down and then it doubles as a regular trailer for storage and we can make it yellow oh man only the cover nope so that's a possibility but not my favorite option um hmm. what about this guy are you coming in yet nope only extensions uh, oh whoa, whoa. oh good i almost bought it it's like no i don't have enough money i went to hit back um doesn't seem to be many trailer options. Flatbed trailer options, not very, not very many. Um, we can look at the package. What they think for trees. This trailer, really? Why this one? Oh, uh, I think I see because this can open up probably. Ah, and it comes in multiple configurations. Where, where how did I miss this trailer? This is the trailer that I needed. Because I could use it to store things. The coal, that's for stones. Capacity. Silage, if you were doing a silage machine. Wow, this thing can really double as a lot of options. And then. Basic storage capacity of 8,500. So maybe this will work for us for right now. So we're going to go ahead and get it in the wood configuration. Toolbox is really unnecessary. Color of modern or legacy. What is this? More Magic the Gathering formats? Modern or legacy. I like the legacy version, but why does it cost $1,500 more for a paint job? Well, we are Chuck Thunder. We must pay for it. So that is what we are going to get. And we're going to go pick it up with our tractor. So, that allows us to get started. And uh, you know, one of the things you missed was me picking up a chainsaw at last episode, too. So I can start doing some chainsaw work. And then, while we're down here, we might as well begin looking into creating our first business. Now, if we're going to be cutting down trees, we're going to want some place to sell them. Um, so we are going to make our first sawmill. Now, there's a couple options for sawmills in the production buildings. So we'll see which ones we can get ones from in-game. We can get ones that are out of game. We'll see what our options are and we'll make something up for what logging could be like. And we're going to probably start some logging today. I'm not going to show you everything, but I'll probably log off camera um, and then check in with you guys when we have finished cutting down all of those trees for the next episode uh, so that you can see my uh, creation of a field. Because then by then it might be a couple months into the future. And we will likely move on from there to building another production building. So that's our that's our goal for a lot of this 
right over here is going to be our little town. So that's going to be what we're going to focus on in this episode in a second is we're going to start building up a town. I don't even know if I want to be a town. Like, I just might want to be like a podunk place. So, we'll see. Oh, good. And while we're picking up this trailer, we can pick up this big bag of lime, too, that we picked up last episode, too, to finish liming our field. Hop out. Uh, that's good steer. Oh, I can't use it because we're in the wrong thing. Well, everybody use your imagination. I can switch over to the other side and I can load her up. Uh, it's not going to work perfectly. Let's just hope it stays in place when we travel. Yeah, I don't have any, do I have a way to do? So let's try that. There we go. Now it's strapped down. And we have a logging trailer now. For basic logging. Alright, so we're going to stop right here. We are going to turn you off and we are going to switch over to the other farm. So, in this other farm, we have construction to be done here. So, right here is going to be our sawmill. Um, we're just going to have to decide on what our sawmill looks like. So, sawmills look like, here's a sawmill, sorry, that's a bakery, that is not a sawmill, that's fine, sawmill, sugar mill, tailor shop, cereal factory, oil mill, grapefruit processing, bakery, dairy, Spinnery, Lime Factory, here's a small, so here's a sawmill, this is the first one, pretty big sawmill, not a huge fan of the size of it, but it's big, there's a large sawmill, seems to be the same size, here's another smaller sawmill, this is like the one on the American town, I believe, Line production. So yeah, we really don't have much when it comes to sawmills. Let's see. These are just cell points. Hmm. Looks like we are going to just start with the basic old sawmill. A carpenter too, so we could also do carpentry, but right now the sawmill is all we got. So that one, we're going to have to be careful which one we choose. So there's really only two options. This big one. That's a green mill. Man, I just don't like these, but we need a sawmill. We'll obviously go with the cheaper one. Oh, this one also has um, a cell point for wood chips, which don't know that's something we're going to do. Well, this one does too, I think. Alright, well, we got to buy some land first with this uh, character. Or with this town, I guess we can call it. We're going to go ahead and buy this piece right here. And then we'll buy this piece too while we're at it. 
And then we can absolutely start looking at buildings. These are not. Yeah, those are not. They don't look at production. Okay. Why this one's so cheap, I don't understand. They're both large and small sawmills, but whatever. This will just make it go a little bit further if we use this one, so. So there we are. Our sawmill is in place. So we have a place to drop off. Looks like wood chips here. This is wood chips, okay. This is where wood chips go. This is where our logs go. And this is the output of our place over here for wood planks. So we put in. So this place also does storage, uh, actual production too, so that's kind of cool. So we could have wood planks turned on when we start dropping our logs off, and then the planks should become a thing. And then we could sell the planks someplace. Um, probably a furniture store, which might be something that we have to build next um, don't know if planks will sell up there we'll build it if it doesn't sell up there but for right now we are we have the basics here so there's our first business set up and ready to go and we will actually do ourselves a little favor here We need some government subsidies. We'll do municipal subsidies because these are not crazy amounts of money. No, we'll do. We'll do subsidy here. We'll tuck this subsidy right there. Now they're going to make lots of moolah every month. All right, so now we can move on to our other farm and drive back. We'll be bringing you logs very shortly. And that's where we're at. So this episode, we are going to start some logging. We'll load up this trailer with as many logs as we can fit. And we'll bring this back. I'm wondering if our track, a little tiny tractor can tow this trailer. I don't see why I couldn't, but maybe once we load it up with logs, it won't be able to. Um, and we'll load this guy up with as many logs as we can. We'll bring him on back. Turn him into planks. And then we'll see if we can sell them for an extra profit as planks, or we could just sell them as logs, whichever. Um, it makes a lot of sense that we could turn them into planks and then try to sell them, but right now I think we should just do logs. Because... The town's right here. We don't have a furniture. We don't have a downtown store. Yet yeah, they could ship out the planks. I guess that's a possibility. I don't know. We're trying to roleplay it a bit. If there was a farmer who was cutting down trees and there was a place that was going to process lumber into planks, then they would ship it out. There wouldn't necessarily be a place in town that's just going to buy all the planks they produce. So it's kind of realistic to think of it that way. But here we are. Step off here, and this will go here again. I'm cheating. Imagine that I was using this to pull it off. I don't have the time for this crap. Not anytime soon. All right, and there's our line. I will start cutting down some trees right here. We'll start with the logs, pretty much the trees, pretty much to the left of our situation here. Turn this off, and we'll get ourselves a going. First tree down, and we can cut out the stumps with the chainsaw. And 
there's our first tree. Boom. Alright, only about 90 more to go. Let's go to the big tree, see what happens here. Yeah, there she goes. I love the sound of the trees falling. Log us down, hop up. Delimb the tree to the best of our abilities. Now, I know I wouldn't be able to lift up a tree this big typically. Um, again, we don't have a way to really lift things right now. So, just want to see. Lumberjack is a good mod to, to use if you don't want to go and buy all the equipment or you can't afford all the equipment. Like, we're cutting up trees here, we're cutting up logs. Now, I could cut them in manageable size chunks. This one I wouldn't be able to move. And then. Yeah, the tree's 1.5 tons, so it would be too uh, too tough to lift. So if I go ahead and try to cut it to the size, I won't be able to lift it because it's, you know, 640 kilograms. So we can imagine that I had a group of people helping me, or I can imagine that I was using uh, a forklift or all that other stuff going on. But it's unnecessary if you've got the skill, and you can imagine that if you were doing this, with all full time constraints not a thing you know sure you could do this all by hand but in this particular situation we're trying to oh excuse me I'm very tired we're trying to blow through the the initial parts of the game here we don't want to be here all day or all season just trying to grind our way through and not make any progress Everybody's got a character. Uh, right. That'll do. And then one less log. 